Greetings and welcome back to Africa Cybergard Academy. In today's session, we are going to be doing the AWS Restart program lab number 231. At this lab, we are still uh, in the Linux system uh, because we want to be administrators. And in this lab, we are going to be editing Linux files. So what are the objectives? The objectives are that after completing this lab, we will be able to use the Vim Tutor executable to conduct uh, the various tasks. And of course, copy content uh, from the var log secure file and edit with nano. Basically, this lab should be taking about one hour, uh, but of course it could take uh, shorter time or maybe longer time depending with how you actually work and how you understand these concepts so this is just diving deeper into linux system and i've already started my lab just for the sake of uh you know for me to take faster and this time round i'm going to be using a uh, putty instead of uh instead of the linux system so let just let us let me use putty okay there we go now we know that the very first thing is that uh, we grab our file under the details so i'll take i'll download that particular file and then i'll take note notice of the public ip and then we navigate to our putty we paste our ip address you go under connections and then you can set this to 60. Let me just set it to 60. And then after that, now we move to SSH and auth. Uh, if you're using a Windows system, you'll need to expand this. But if you are not using a Windows system, the way I'm not using a Windows uh, system, uh, you will not actually expand this. Yeah. But if you're in Windows, you'll expand and then go to credentials and you'll get browse. Yeah, so in my case, I'm just going to use the private key file for authentication. This is what you are going to also be looking for at the Windows uh, system. So let me just browse to my downloads, then take my authentication file. Then I can I uh, can connect, I can initiate my connection. I can accept that. I want to log in as EC2 user. The EC2 user. So I'm logging in as my EC2 user. There I am. Right. So it has already gone through. Well, now we come to the task two and task two, we are testing whether Vim is already downloaded in this uh, installed rather uh, in this system. This server of ours. Right. So Yes, Vim is there, as you can see, uh, it is already there. Vim is powerful, you'll get all that kind, all these, huh? all these. you get all these. Right, so if you want to quit Vim, you just, uh, you click, uh, on your screen, you'll click that way and then you type Q and you'll quit Vim, right? If you wanted to get back again, you just get back the same way. Full colon, Q, and you quit Vim. Sometimes you might actually, uh, if you're using your system, uh, you might actually want to install Vim. So you just do sudo yum install Vim. In some Linux systems, it will be sudo apt install vim, depending with which Linux uh, uh, distro you are actually using. All right, so we've already we're already there. Uh, if you want to exit, uh, you can press that, and then you exit in task three. In task three, uh, we want to uh, create a file. Okay. So uh, from our current location, so we can actually print the working directory. Uh, we are in the EC2 user, that is good. 
uh, enter vim hello world and press enter you are using vim to create a file called hello world in this case so we can create a file and say a freak cyberguard academy cyberguard academy that's what i can say All right yes now i have my file okay so in this file here you have several lines there all right so if you pen, if you click enter you are going to get that right so let me just take this i'm just going to take this and put it in my okay right 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 so you have to start typing you have to start typing just a minute just a minute there okay for files edited we have okay so once you're done escape uh press escape uh to exit the insert mode you enter i to use insert mode and enter the text below so if you want to get into insert mode you type uh, you click i insert as in insert and then we can write our file insert hello world hello world let us just type something a little bit yeah so we can type anything here so this is just basically we're writing into our file huh? basically writing into our file this is our our first file we are creating in linux using vim editor using the vim editor basically that's it okay so once you're done so say you can you can actually put everything that you want but for the sake of just demonstration we don't want so much things uh maybe say created by a freak cyber guard academy yeah so just like that and then once you are done you can you click uh, escape you press on escape for you now to escape to exit the insert mode now how do we save this we save this by typing a full column and then write and then we quit okay so by doing that we are actually saving the content of this file that we've just created okay and there we are okay so this is our first file that we've done that okay all right all right so then we can actually do this uh it was called Afric cyber guard academy so vim afric afric cyber guard academy let us see we are still there again okay all right so we can actually add more because we know that if you want to get to editor we click i and then we're in the insert so we can add anything so we can say uh, this is a free channel channel for uh, 21st century to the 4th century skills you can say anything because 
we're only interested in knowing or maybe understanding how we can actually uh, edit simple you can add as many lines as possible as you want as you wish okay so basically you'll be having uh that and then of course uh if uh you want to quit you quit that way and we could save you can actually save yeah uh you know that saving uh we save that way yeah or perhaps we can actually uh, exit the entire uh, editing mode just by typing um, wait yeah we can do that all right and then we have additional challenges that we've been given here okay so you see we are back in the main um, we are back in the main terminal okay uh we can do a couple of things here okay so we can go back to vim okay uh right let us just uh wait okay all right okay So uh, if you type Vim itself, uh, you can see we have, um, if you want to exit, uh, quit. If you want help, of course, we, we have this, uh, this kind of uh, uh, we have, at least you're going to get some, um, like a tutorial, okay? on how to go about this okay so let us go back to our vim uh we say vim afric rig cyber guard academy okay So if you type DD, we delete an entire line. And if you type U here, okay. And we type U again. Already let's change. They always change there. We can actually undo the last, uh, the last, uh, the last command that we actually did. Okay. So let's just do that. So we can go to insert and then we insert. We insert into. We can insert there. And then we reference again. Okay. So let us try to see. And then we escape. So we can actually type DD. And you see it is gone okay so that is that is gone and then we can type uh, you so that we undo okay so once you've done once you're done for example with the uh, dd we have to escape and then if you want to undo it you type you and then we escape again okay so then we can actually save our changes we can save our changes yeah and then we can just exit okay we can just exit once and for all can just exit okay so that is it so of course we have um we can use this to save our changes and then quit or maybe just save alone and quit it entirely and then uh, at task four um we are going to be using nano so nano and vim are almost the same you know uh just like different text editors so um with nano <clears throat> de depending with what your preference is you, f you find that we have some guys who are using nano we have some guys who prefer to use vim uh so what works for you okay well um myself uh i i prefer vim yeah um 
nano also is pretty awesome so depending with what can actually work for you so we can create a file uh, let us create a file say uh, nano uh, uh, freak cyber okay so we're just creating uh or maybe just let it have a simpler name so you see we are in nano now okay we are in nano so and then um you have different uh nano is kindly different a little bit different with the uh, vim in the sense that if you come down here you are going to be seeing all this okay so if you want to undo mu if you want to redo me if you want to mark text ma copy text m6 you know um you want to exit x you want to read line r you want to write out or view previous word next word so it is a little bit different huh just that different so save uh, the changes you see uh save the changes it is control control o okay so that it just write right out okay uh if you want to if you want to exit this control that is just control x exit okay so you can type hello james or maybe hello hello Afrik. cyber how are you how are you and then you check the keys here okay we write out the control o. okay we exit control x okay and then of course we are going to say yes do you want to do that exit okay file name is that and we are done okay so it is very simple we want to go back to our file just just there you can write whatever you want to write you move it with uh you can move it yeah uh what's up what's up what's up anything that you want this is just uh, to get us to understand that this we can actually use these text editors and why do you need to understand this thing why do you actually need to to know how to use nano to know how to use them? you will be writing scripts and these scripts will be written in this uh using these um these text editors okay this is what you'll be using okay so depending with where your priority will fall so depending because you know there are the individuals who will actually prefer vim the individuals who will actually prefer um nano so depending but most cases you find people like uh vim yeah pretty much simple for some some also uh say no we are for nano and that is just what we like yeah so depending with what you actually love right so that's it that is all that was about this particular lab nothing complex still very simple just teaching you how to use text editors in the linux system okay so of course once you're done with this particular lab do not forget to submit uh your lab so that your instructor your teacher can actually uh, get to see it from the other side and give you a mark for that and then once we've submitted the lab we 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 just close it or we just end the lab okay so we have make sure that your score is one out of one and then we can peacefully end this lab so thank you so much and see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe for more videos and tutorials